Oh, hey there, everybody! Welcome back to John Swarovski Super Fans. We are so excited to. <laughs> Oh, oh God! I told you guys, we're not doing this. Stop. Hey, SHS. Welcome back to our Thanksgiving announcements. To start off the uh, announcements today, we have question of the week. What are you thankful for? I am thankful for a lot of things. First of all, I am thankful for SHS students. They're the best. I'm thankful for my dog, Eddie. Um, I'm thankful for my children. And on a good day, maybe Mr. Wink. What are you thankful for? My family. What are you thankful for? Um, I would have to say my PlayStation. Yes. What are you thankful for? I'm thankful I have an opportunity to sit next to a big green-shirted guy. And this just makes me feel special. What are you thankful for? I'm thankful for uh, Jordan Walters and Johnny Schroeder coming yes. to interview me to tell you what I'm thankful for. And I'm also very thankful for this amazing Spanish Ford class. Woo! If you're a freshman, uh, you should join Spanish because it's really fun. Yes, Joe. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's alright. Those are some great answers from SHS, don't you think, Brick? I sure do, Ron. Now on to sports. For our team this year would be to finish um, top three in the conference is one of our big goals and then another goal that we have is to uh, get to the regional championship game and uh, hopefully pull that out and see where it goes from there um, otherwise it's just goal other goals we have is just to be competitive every night give it our best shot and uh, we'll see where the season takes us so Prior to the season, we've been doing open gyms and then um, weight room every morning, which is uh, some of the things the kids have been doing. And then as the season has gotten going, we have morning practices and afternoon practices. Um, we have one week where we don't have any games throughout our whole season, and this is, uh, the first week is that week. So um, just uh, a lot of conditioning, a lot of putting in the plays and getting to know them and um, working hard, so it should be fun. I think this will be a fun group to come watch. Um, hopefully we can um, pack the stands most nights and uh, come see what they have to offer. It's a good group of kids. I'm here with Heather and Mia Olson from the Somerset uh, varsity basketball team, and I got a few questions for them. Heather, how do you feel your season is going to go this year? I think we're going to do pretty good. We started off strong with the win against the Richmond, and I think we're going to continue to get some more wins. That sounds good. And Mia, what do you look forward to in your senior year of basketball? I look forward to playing with all my friends from last year and being a part of a really competitive conference. Well, sounds good. Thank you, guys. Thank you. I believe we're going to win at least, I have confidence that we're going to win at least 10 dual meets this year. I think we'll have a few wrestlers competing, but we have a lot of uh, guys coming out this year. Uh, you know, I think we'll do pretty good once our younger guys figure out our systems and we just like get good team chemistry. I think it'll go good. Uh, I'm looking forward to our Proctor tournament. You know, it's always good competition. I'm excited to have some uh, time in the hotel with the boys. Uh, probably Baldwin, just because it's always a good game. It's a hard fought battle, and I just can't stand anything about Baldwin, so just excited. Our end goal this year is to make it to state. You know, had a huge letdown last year and we're hungry to go back again this year. 
So it's a lot higher intensity all around. There's just, you know, faster shots, bigger players all around. It's just more intense. So this season, I really wanted to just, you know, build some bonds with my teammates and, you know, play some stick and puck with the boys. So. My goal for this season is to compete in every game and make sure my team's always in it. I think this year our team has a better work ethic and better mental attitude for, to make us better. Uh, I'm looking forward to our overnight stay uh, just to be able to bond with all the girls. The end goal for this season would be to make it all the way to state. Good about this year's team. I think we got a lot of new good players, and I think it'll go pretty well. Definitely fusion. Um, we all hate them, so we want to beat them just like last year. We have a really good defensive lineup, and I'm looking forward to this year. Dude, you're wrong. I'm not wrong. You are wrong. Dude, Brad Pitt is hotter than John Stamos. Wow. This leads us right into our next segment from the debate club. Debate is our newest club here at Somerset. Uh, we meet on Mondays and Thursdays. We're in the very early stages of getting a team together, but we have made some improvements. So debate is where you um, not necessarily argue, but um, while well, debate um, different topics, you don't necessarily get to choose your topic. So a lot of times you're um, scrambling to come up with ways to find out how you're going to argue your side, how you're going to convince somebody else. Um, so it's a really great way to practice speaking and to practice um, having a good argument uh, using supporting details, using evidence. Uh, uh, yeah, you sure can. There are really no requirements. We all, including myself, started from basically knowing nothing. Um, so we're about a month and a half in. Like I said, we have made some big strides. Um, but those strides definitely aren't big enough to where someone couldn't join right now. So, um, yeah, we'd love to have you. We're hoping to maybe get some um, scrimmages and um, competitions hopefully set up. Um, the, fall, the debate season is mostly in the fall, but since it's our first year, we're kind of just trying to get things up and moving. And uh, it'd be great if we could get a scrimmage going soon. So, yeah, we could use all of the, all the people that we could. Wow. That was some really good information coming from our debate team. Now on to our band and choir. Hey guys, it's me, Mr. Pulsell. Just giving you a heads up what's going on. Uh, this weekend, we're heading to Chicago with the Band and Choir. We have a great performance down there and non-stop fun and adventure. It's going to be a blast. Um, following that, in December, we'll be on tour on the 16th on Friday. So we'll be going to the middle school, elementary school, and over to St. Anne's, and then to the Mall of America. And then on the 19th, that following Monday, is our official concert date. So you should come check it out at 7 o'clock. You're going to have the jazz band there, dynamics choir, concert choir, concert band, all playing some killer music. Come check us out, 7 p.m. Turkey imitations. Now to get serious, we have severe weather with Brick Tamland. Hi there, folks. Brick Tamland here. Um, now we are currently in a weather crisis. We have a crazy blizzard outside. As you can see, it's around negative 76 degrees in Somerset, Wisconsin. We're seeing species that we haven't seen in 80 years. Okay. Now it's very scary, and to get a better picture on what's going on, we actually have Brick Tamland outside in the field right now. Uh, thanks, Brick. It's, I can scarcely be out here. The wind, wind speed upwards of 150 miles an hour. Uh, earlier, I saw a woman walking a dog on the sidewalk, and the dog was not touching the ground. It was levitating. It looked like she was walking a dog balloon. Back to you, Brick. Mm, I just burned my tongue. 
Thanks, Brick. Those are some truly powerful images out there. Now, back to the devilishly handsome hosts. Wow, that's some very serious weather for our Thanksgiving meal. That's very true. Brick Tamlin did a great job of delivering that. Now, a word from one of our new staff members. Hello, my name is Jonathan. I'm with Multimedia Productions. Uh, my name is uh, Mr. Rivard. Uh, I'm the choir teacher, 7 to 12 choir teacher here at Somerset. Why did you become a teacher? I've always loved music and I found out um, through a lot of different uh, career paths that I found out that sharing my love of music with young people was what I wanted to do. How long have you been teaching? I've been teaching for about uh, 70 or so days. In the spirit of the holidays, what's your favorite Thanksgiving meal? Uh, my favorite Thanksgiving meal is probably the day after leftovers. You know, they make a sandwich out of it, like the turkey and anything basically that's leftover, like cranberry sauce. It's awesome. Oh no. What are you most thankful for? I'm most thankful for my family and my friends and my PlayStation for keeping me sane in the next coming months. <laughs> How's your overall experience been at SHS spent so far? It's been really awesome. It's been really cool coming back to where I graduated from and seeing everything that's changed and seeing all the ways that everything has stayed the same. Any final closing thoughts? Make sure to make it out to our choir concert and band concert December 19th. Wow, that was a really powerful message from our new staff member. Now, on to your ski club. Bus transportation will be provided every Tuesday except for during winter break on December 27th. It's estimated right now that it will be provided for about 11 weeks, so until towards the end of February. The bus and trailer will be in the parking area between the high school and middle school by 3 p.m. as it was last school year. Mr. Popes is working on a space for high school students to store equipment at the high school. Middle school students will store their equipment in the middle school guest locker room, which is just inside the music wing entrance of the middle school, just as they did last year when the bus and trailer could not be delivered until after school. We will leave the school as soon as everyone is loaded and on the bus. We will leave Trollhagen at 8 p.m. and return to the parking lot between the high school and middle school at 8.30, just as we did last year. Ms. Bellarge will continue as chaperone, and others may fill in if she is not available. Way to shred the NAR, ski team! Facts! And now a word from the school store. Hey Spartans, welcome to our school store. So as you walk in, you can come grab some coffee for $2, or we also have chapstick and gum available for you guys. Over here, we have our youth apparel. There's lots of options, brand new, new good quality. Then here's some more sweatshirts and some, some spirit things. <laughs> and then over here, we have our blank apparel, where you come, pick out your size, pick out your screen, and then you can order it from us and we will custom make it for you. So stop in and get your Spartan Pride apparel. Time to test your geography, SHS. Hey Ron, I have a question for you. What's up, Brick? Where is Tajikistan? It's right here. Now it's time for you guys to find Turkey. In the spirit of the holidays, Mr. McNerney, can you point out where Turkey is on a map? Can you point to where Turkey is on a map? Um, sure. Um, but looking at this map, I can't find it because Turkey would be on my table in Somerset. Um, but hey, if I had a pick on this map, I would say probably right here. Would you like to find where Turkey is on a map? Right there. <laughs> can you find where Turkey is on a map? I'm a, I think it's about in this vicinity right here. In the spirit of Thanksgiving, can you point out to where Turkey is on a map? <laughs> Thank you for your time. Can you point to where Turkey is on a map? <laughs> In the spirit of the holidays, Emily, can you find where Turkey is on a map? Um, I'm going to take a wild guess and go right there. All right, thank you for your time. All right, Ron, 
I'm gonna draw you like one of my French girls. Now, let's hear about some art. All right, coming up here November 21st and 22nd, we're, we're going to call them something between like an intense intervention, intense enrichment days coming up. Um, so what that means is it's a short week um, if we need time to practice note taking, studying for tests, um, just other things. Um, we're going to be having students come in, so we're going to let you know, we're going to email you, email your family that you need to come in for that. Um, for other students where that, that isn't a thing that you need at the moment, um, you will be expected to log in online at 8.15. We need to do attendance, check in, do a short 20 minute or so advisory. All right, Thursday, December 22nd, we are going to have an all-school rewards day. Here's my understanding again, there's been some skiing, maybe sledding, um, going to the Mall of America, maybe movie here, maybe some things in the gym. Um, Reward day is Thursday, December 22nd. On this day, SHS students will have the opportunity to not attend classes as a reward for all their hard work and good grades. Requirements to attend reward day are you must have good standing grades and no missing work as of Friday, December 16th. You need to have good behavior and no recent infractions. Your options for reward day are Mall of America, Mall of America with rides or sea life visit, Sky Zone and a movie, breakfast and snow tubing, ice skating and a movie, or stay back at school for study hall. Please watch for an email that will be coming out soon for you to make your choice for reward day. Keep doing great things, SHS. Wow, thank you, Dr. Newman, for those inspirational words. Now, on to a food segment. Yeah, a little Thanksgiving feast. Welcome back, gentlemen, to Somerset Food Review. Who are we here with? Xander Shooty. Tyler Tipton. Lucas Ryan. Perfect, perfect. And what are we eating today, boys? A little Thanksgiving feast. It's like we got some turkey, mashed potatoes, some crushed up bread, and I, I, think, some I think that's stuffing. I think that's stuffing. Yeah. So uh, let's let's stuffing. start off the night, right? Everyone, if you, uh, if you will, a little cranberry sauce, Tyler. Do we want some? Oh, yeah. Let me help you out. Yeah, you just get a little cranberry sauce out of there. Yeah, okay. Damn. Yeah, a little fierce. Oh, look at that. Obviously, the wise is a little bit of a hindrance here. <laughs> <laughs> is this crap food from your house? I'm sorry, Lucas. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Wow, thank you. All right, so who wants to take the first bite here? Tipton, why don't you start us off right where the meal really began? Let's get into it. I'm a big fan of turkey. Big fan of turkey? Xander, how about you? Let's let's go buy that cranberry sauce. Mm. Are we feeling the cranberry sauce or no? Yeah, I'm feeling it. You're feeling it? Let's get let's get a little taste of everything there, Lucas. All What's right. first impressions of the plate? Let's see. No. Not bad. Oh, what we're really here for, we want your we want your opinion on the taters, so let's get a bite of that. You are an expert. I, I am. An expert in this <laughs> You know, if I had to give my honest opinion. Um, uh, it's really good. Um, it's really good. The only thing that Glad to hear could that. improve on it is, is uh, top the tater. Little tot the tater. Uh, what do we got drinking today? Little Mountain Dew and snow? Mountain Dew. How is it? Let's try it. <laughs> How is it? That's some good stuff. Xander, you kind of are our regional expert on Mountain Dew, so. Gotta make sure it's fine. <laughs> oh, you went a little light on the Mountain Dew there. <laughs> Gentlemen, I just I think this is a really special moment. We get to share this Thanksgiving meal together. I'm very grateful to be here. It's a little early. 
Let's, yeah, let, let's, uh. Look at this, like going in on the taters. I like to. Let's, uh, let's give this Thanksgiving brunch a little rating. What are we thinking here, gentlemen? Out of, out of, let's go, let's go 16. What are we thinking out of 16? Xander, you start us off. I'll probably go with a, a 16.3. A 16.3 no, out of 16. That's not bad. It's a 14. A 14. Well, I mean, it's pretty good, but I have to give like maybe a 17. What? You can eat that. No, you can. I have a little bit of A little bit more of that. Yup. I need every calorie. Signing off for now. He's Ron. He's Brick. And we'll see you next time. Welcome to Will Schwartzky Sports Fans. Now that they are gone, happy Thanksgiving to all. Thanks for watching the announcements. We did it!